And hello everybody, welcome to this uh, Make Code from Minecraft session. We have with us Nell. Nell is going to be our Minecrafter and uh, my name is Pelly. I'm a, uh, I work for Microsoft Research and I build, uh, I work in a team that build uh, Make Code and today we're going to talk about using Make Code to do coding inside of Minecraft Education Edition. So if you have a school account and your school is using Office 365, you can use Minecraft Education Edition on PC or Mac. Nails nodding. Um, so you'll be able to sign in with your account. If you're not able to sign in, we've got instructions on how to enable that for your school district. They're attached to the video. Uh, so if you're not signed in, make sure to reach out to us. We'll we'll try to unblock you. Now I think you wanted to change your character. Oh yeah, I want to change it to her. All right. She's like a Mario Mario woman. Mario woman, let's go, and let's start a new world. Uh, play. play and you? today, yeah, we're gonna create a flat world. It's gonna be easier. Templates. Templates. Block of grass. Create new. Okay. And yeah, it's something we showed on the previous video. It's possible to play online with your friends, with your classmates. So if you're, uh, if you're, as long as you're in the same school. Or as long as you're in the same school. So well, the same school district. So and you're running the same version of Minecraft. It should work. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to do a classroom activity or if you want to meet your classmates, you haven't seen them in a while. Uh, you can meet them in Minecraft, which is super cool, and you can build stuff together. Um, we can even talk to your teacher. Teacher can also meet you there um, if you want to. Okay, so uh, to enter the coding section, we're going to press, as usual, C. Okay, so right here, there's a C on your keyboard. There you go, and we're going to select Make Code. Oh, wait. And we're already in Make Code. So it remembered uh, that we were in Make Code. But if you click on the, the button there, we can show it. Which one? Uh, yeah, this one. So, okay. So click on Make Code, the first one. There you go. And you're in the Make Code Editor. Super cool. And today we're going to do um, we're going to do the next tutorial line. So in the line of tutorials, you can see that there's a little arrow on the right. Uh. And yeah, click on that. And we're going to do fast forward. Ooh. What is this fast forward thing? Take control of time. That sounds exciting. So quick quiz. How many ticks are they in a Minecraft day? Oh, we don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. Nobody can stop the pace of time. This tutorial, though, you'll make time go faster and faster while you're walking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. Add an event to run code when the player walks. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is to f translate that into code without looking at the hint. And then we can look at the hint. I know what I'm supposed to do. All at right. Yes. Look. On player walks. All right. So you've turned some kind of text that you can understand into code that the computer can understand. Oh, I'm going to zoom in. There you go. All right. There we go. Now you can see it clearly. What else? What else do we have to do? A Minecraft day lost two, two, you can just say that number. <laughs> 24 thousands. Takes for 20 minutes of play. Let's beat up by skipping 100 ticks. Use code to add 100 ticks to, to the time when the player walks. Okay. We need your help. All right. Let's, let's read that back. <laughs> There's a lot of numbers. and um, So that's weird. And it ticks. So yeah, the, tick, the, the Minecraft, the game ticks. Uh, we're going to skip 100 ticks. So use code to add 100 ticks to the time when the player walks. And I think we've bolded the words that are important. I want a hint. You sure? Let's, let's look in gameplay first. Maybe we get, we get some help there. Uh, add, oh, oh, time add. Oh, well, how? That's convenient. <laughs> time add. So whenever we're going to detect that the player is walking, we're going to add 100 ticks. Oh. Let's try the game. Let's see what, what happens. All right, so one easy way to see that time is moving is you look at the sky, and look at the sun. Oh, yay, it's moving. So try not moving. Wait, go back, look at the sun. See, uh, walking, don't walk. It's slower. Oh, 
And now it's way faster. I'm Watch just, out. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, that might take a long time. And okay. I want to use Mega Jump, but... All right. You have to stay on task. Okay. Let's use this. What else? Ticks to the time. When I think we're done. Actually, look at the hint. Let's see. Let's double check that we've done it right. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Who would have known? As you can see, we've done exactly the same. Go to Minecraft, walk around, look at the sky. You should see the sun moving fast. Tide not changing, make sure the always stay option isn't turned on. Yeah, actually, that's that's good point. Uh, if the time's not changing, let's go in the options now and make and show where that is. So, so if press escape, settings. Uh, oops, settings. And in the world settings, you scroll down. Uh, make sure always stay is not enabled, otherwise the time doesn't doesn't change. It, so if, if the mod doesn't work, let's let's not move the mouse all the time. If the mod doesn't work, make sure this this flag is not turned on. Okay. It it should not be like this. It should, should not be like, like this. this. Yeah, it should be like that. Okay. Just to make that oh gotta go away. Gotta go back. Let's go back to the coder. Okay, let's go, go, go. Oh yeah, code, code, code. What else? Put the code to add a, mm. a thousand ticks to time when the player is flying. Oh, that's cool. Time. Oh. Okay, so let's grab that. We might need it. And just stuff it somewhere. Right there. And, and no, wait. I know what we have to do. But we add another of those. Eh. And eh. see, eh. it's okay. Hold on. Hold on a second. So, so don't move. Let's keep it like that. So there's something going on here. See how this one it has the right color and this one is kind of, you know, hash mark something mm -hmm. disabled because we have two of the same events. Oh, you have to change it before you put it. No, you can change it after. Okay. But whenever you see that, you're going to know that it's because you have two of them. Uh, and that means only this one is going to run. So what we're going to go is change that to fly and see. Oh, yeah, we still need to. Are ah, oh, you going to do fall? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, flying. My flying. And then also we wanted to change the number. Mm, Let's not oh. overlap them. Yeah. Let's do. One, zero, zero, zero. 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 So considering there's 24,000 ticks. ticks in a day, that's going to be pretty fast. Let's try it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's fast. Ooh, that oh. was cool. Perfect. This is, this is pretty. <laughs> Don't move. Ah! Yeah, look at the look at I'm the. I'm scared. Oh. Oh wait. <sighs> it, it, this is. Oh wait, we missed the sun. This is, there's the moon. Oh, and this is if we're walking. Yawn. Yeah, it's slower. Okay. All right. What else do we have to do? So we learned that we can actually take control of time in Minecraft, which is very funny. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're done. Try the game uh, and fly around. I think we've done oh, our wait, job. Oh, wait, I want to try something. 5,000. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. That, that is fast. I think that's, that's almost too fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna try more controls here. When I swim in. When, we don't have water. When I. We don't have horses. When I bounce. Um. I don't know how you bounce. Well, actually, let's do a bouncer. Um, you need. I think you need slime. Oh, I know how to do this. I'm just gonna break a hole. I don't know how to make a bouncer, but I think you need a hole to put in here, right? Um, it's like a trampo. It's like a trampo. How do you bounce? Uh, the slime. Okay, so let's see if we're done with this tutorial. Uh, it says finish. Let's click on finish. Now, when you click on finish, uh, you get access to all the the uh, the blocks, and you can do more stuff. So make sure when you're done with the tutorial, you click on finish. And actually, let's let's stay in the gameplay. See, there's more options here. For example. There's some cool stuff you can do. Time set. 
can、oh, you can easily say、oh, I want to be during the day. I want to be at dawn. Oh wait, you can actually do dawn. Yeah, you have dawn, midday, <gasps> dusk, night, midnight. So you can. They don't have. Okay, I want to see something. What? Maybe you want to do a chat command for that. Nah.、Oh. I think walking is gonna be better. Oh、uh, no, chat command! I won't be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So let's go in player and grab the chat command. Okay, player. We got the chat command. And let's drag it down here. Maybe let's drag it out and move and move everybody up. There we Now go. Now I need to take my time, Seth. Okay, okay, and then let's rename it to Dawn. All right, let's try it out. So that's very useful if you want it. You know, if for some reason. You de decide so that it should be dawn. Then you do a chat command that gets you to the dawn time. What is this dawn? Hey, give it a second. Hey, there you go. Oh, thought it was gonna be that pretty sunset. Uh, maybe you want dusk or something like that.、Ooh. Go back to the code. Oh. Okay. Um, dusk. It's that. And so, what you've done is you've created. What you could have done is <clears throat> you could duplicate the chat command, and you could have many of them.、Oh. So, right-click on chat command. No,、oh. we don't need that. Duplicate. Duplicate. And now you can rename it to.、Uh. So, how about we move everybody up? So.、Uh, everybody. No, let's just move the whole view. So you click here in the middle. And you drag everybody up, and we got here. All right, so uh, uh, we have to change it.、Hang、yeah,、on. we、Not、have to change. Do dawn. Dawn. Hey, it won't work. Because you have the same name, so what you have to do is rename it here. You can only have、Seven. one command. So we are. That would be dawn. So you can have as many chat commands as you want. Okay, can I? Yep. So、okay. if you write dusk, it's gonna go to dusk. Hopefully, it's pretty. Ooh, what? Yeah, it's going down. See,、Ooh. it's right before dusk. Ooh, this is pretty. This is what? Oh, see, this is pretty. That is pretty. No. Oh wait, it's like a whole circle. Like if I go farther there, will I still get? It's an infinite world now. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the code. Wait, but I'm. Can I try bouncing?、What's、no,、that? no, we're we're not in bouncing mode here. Let's go back to to the code. I'm scared. Okay, let's let's do one for day. <laughs> go back to C now. Oh, C. Let's、um, go. Let's go see in gameplay what we have. <laughs> da, da, da. No. no wanna... Yeah, that's in case you want to write dusk in a number. Duplicate. Okay.、Uh, let's just move everybody up. Is this good enough? Yeah, that's good. Oh no, I need to subtract some.、Oh. No, they stay there.、Nope. Day, there you go. Set time day. Today. <gasps> yeah. I don't think anybody midday.、Don't. Yeah, midday. Day, midday. Day. T.、Yeah. Okay. And you're right, day. So that's cool. You can have as many chat commands as you want. <laughs> oh, it's day again. Now we can see some piggies and kill them. Saved, and that's going to conclude our lesson today, where we learned and we did the fast forward tutorial. And tomorrow we'll be back to go through more Minecraft material. While Nell, while Nell, you're gonna have to figure out how to bounce for tomorrow. I'm gonna try and do slime. I'm gonna see if it works. All right. While my while Nell is doing that, I'm gonna go out and stop the stream, and we'll see you everybody tomorrow. Bye.